Okay, so as you can see here, I've drawn the line here of where I want to take material away on this heel. It's going to be kind of a rounded profile spanning uh, from each cutaway and just kind of giving it a nice uh, rounded profile. And uh, we've used a template that I made up here a little while back and I do use this one for pretty much every one of my builds. So what we need to do is we need to determine how far back we need to set this template in order to get it to cut on this line. And uh, there's a couple things we've got to take into account here. We've got um, on our router we've got another um, guide installed here on the base and we've installed a, um, a fluting bit. I believe it is a half inch fluting bit. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our template stock and we're going to set this on the side here again and we're just going to see now we've got our router um, base all the way down so it's plunged all the way to the maximum depth here and we're just going to take a measurement and see where we're at and it looks like geez it looks like that's going to be pretty much perfect excellent so we've already got our depth set that's great so now what we need to do is we need to determine the distance between where this is going to start cutting because it's going to cut a rounded profile so we need to we don't need to take the distance from the center here we need to take it right from the edge of the blade to the outside of the the guide here looks like we got about three thirty seconds of an inch so I know that I need to mark out from here three thirty seconds of an inch so that's right there and I'll do the same over here just line this up to three thirty seconds right there I have the mark right here okay now when we take our template and we lay it on here we're going to make sure that it's lined up to these lines here to these marks I should say and then when we actually cut into here and start taking away material um, it's it should cut right on this line here that we've already laid out on here so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna put some uh, two-sided tape on this thing and we're gonna tape it well again and there's one thing we need to really take into consideration here when we're doing this we need to make sure that we're uh, any pressure that or any kind of uh, downward force that we're putting on the router and while we're uh, bringing it around here is we need to make sure that it doesn't tip on us. Um, if it does, it's going to dig in too far here, and then it's going to create a little bit of a mess for us to uh, take this, the rest of this down to the proper, uh, proper thickness. So, with that being said, what we'll do is we'll get this uh, set up with some two-sided tape. We'll get it uh, installed to where we need it. And like I said, our bit's already set to the proper depth, so that's handy. And then uh, we can start cutting this thing out. Okay, so we've removed our template. You can see uh, what we've got here, and it looks like it runs into our uh, our cutaways. Perfect. Uh, might need to be cleaned up just a tiny bit there. It's a little, little tiny bit off. Pretty good though. Okay, uh, we checked our depth. So what we did is to check our depth here. Just lay a flat edge on top, and then measure from the center of the um, the material room. Yeah, so we're looking at pretty much 3 sixteenths, maybe a little bit shallow, but that's okay because the rest of this we're going to do kind of by hand or whatever. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll probably rasp out the majority of this and then we'll take a random orbital sander and we'll flatten it out, make it all nice and straight. And uh, once we get that done, we're pretty much done with the uh, heavy duty work here. We got to drill one more hole in the cavity here for the um, for the dimmer the uh, dimmer switch or the dimmer control for the LED fret markers. So uh, we'll go ahead, take the rasp, and uh, we're actually going to set this up in the vise, and then we'll set up the camera, and uh, we'll show you what we're going to do to get this flat. Okay, so we've got our rasp here, and uh, one thing, we want to be very careful here with this. Uh, we don't want to run it into any parts of the body here, or any parts of this area that we've already routed out, because these are going to be generally finished edges, and uh, we don't want to be taking off anything off from those. So we're going to hit this from kind of the front angle here. 
and we're just going to work away at it. And this cedar is pretty soft, so um, it shouldn't take too long to get get down to where we need to get down to. And what we're going to do is we're going to work on one side here and then we're going to flip the instrument around in the vise and we're going to do the other side and come at it from this angle here. Uh, like I said, just because we want to be extra careful that we don't um, dig into the body anywhere here. And this, uh, you know, this top horn is kind of in an inconvenient location for this part of the job. But, you know, like I said, anything we can't get, we're going to really concentrate on, on not hitting that. And then anything we can't get from this area, we'll get it from this side. You know, my other option for this would be to use the uh, the grinding wheel with um, with that rasping disc in it, but um, you know, this will work just as effectively. And I like to have a little bit more control in this, and we're not taking off a whole lot of material, so I want to make sure that you know we're not working too fast with this, and then we end up taking off too much material, and then you know. And we're kind of stuck between the rock and the place. We're starting to get close to where we want to be here. You can see laminations are starting to come through a little bit. already feeling nicer to get up the neck okay so I'm gonna flip this thing around and we're gonna hit it from the other side here I think we're gonna be able to get a little bit better access to things from the other side anyways but um, we'll get it flipped around and then we'll we'll change the uh, you know set up the camera again because it's gonna have to be uh, over here and then uh, we'll continue on okay so we got it spun around here now. Now we can kind of go at this area here. A little bit more aggressively. Get down a little bit closer to where we need to. We're just trying to take down the bulk of the material here. Get it close so that we're not you know, sanding forever here. Now I think I'm going to go at this a little bit with a chisel here. So I think we'll finish up the rest of this with the uh, random orbital orbital sander. I got it right here. I'm going to put on a new uh, new sanding pad here. And this isn't a uh, an aggressive sanding pad here. This is, I believe, a 60 or 80 grit. That's what we need for this job here. So we get that on there. Okay, it looks like we're pretty much where we want to be. Uh, just a little bit of cleanup here on the edges. Uh, there's a couple burn marks we want to take care of. And then we want to round this edge off here just a little bit, kind of soften it. And okay, so I'm going to clean up a bit and then uh, we'll check out our depth.